This video content is not intended for children. And this is Alex from Lebanon, a nice large mouth there doing the selfie thing on Old Hickory Lake. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Well, I already tried trout fishing in two different spots today. I didn't even get a bite. I tried below the dam and I tried at a public pond slash lake downtown Nashville. I didn't get a bite there either. It's raining, it's cold, and I want to catch some fish. Let's try down here by the log. And just like the last video, I'm going to default to what I know. A realistic rig and some night crawlers. Oftentimes fishing is about experimentation, but when the fishing is tough, sometimes it's about familiarity. If a pattern worked for you one time, there's a good chance it'll work for you again. If it doesn't, that's when you experiment. Anyway, let's get rigged up, see if I can get a bite. You see, I'm not out here promoting the latest, greatest, newest, coolest lures from my favorite companies with coupon codes for 10% off. I'm out here fishing. If I can't catch any trout or bass, I go for what I can catch. And in this case, we're going for panfish, sunfish, bluegill, whatever else might bite. Here we go. Let's see what's down here. Do I got him? Do I got him? Do I got him? Oh, just a little guy. I felt my rig get snagged in the trees down there, but got a little bluegill here. Yeah, four or five inch here. He's got some dirt on him because worms are messy, right? Anyway, hungry little fish here. Let's let him go. That's one. Hopefully we can find something a little bit larger. fish. Feels a little bit better, but not much. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. Another small bluegill here. Give me that worm. Well, I hope there's more than this down there. Realistic fishing. <laughs> Keep it realistic. I do have a catfish rig with me. And I just remembered someone asked me what the water temperature is. I'm going to get my thermometer and we're going to find out right now. Here we go. Let's see. There we go. 49 degrees. Another small fish. All right, we're going to put this one on as bait. I guess I'll just kind of lay it here next to me somehow. 
maybe prop it up in the trees. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. All right, we're gonna try that. I got my drag set pretty loose. If I get a fish, hopefully I'll catch it in time. All right, back to pan fish. Yeah, it looks like the current or whatever is slowly dragging it that way. That's okay, I guess. I'm sort of expecting it to get snagged and to lose it. But by some miracle, I just might get a big catfish on there. We'll see what happens. Fish on. This one feels a little bit better than the rest. Not much, though. There we go. Got a seven inch bluegill here. Let's get a look at him. Yeah, this one's really purple. I don't know if the camera can see it. A lot of purple in this one. Biggest fish of the day, about a seven inch bluegill here. Hey guys, it's Cynthia the Fishing Mommy from The Fishing Family. You're watching Realistic Fishing. And you've got to listen to mom when I say, keep it realistic. Let's keep going. I still got a bit more time. Not a lot, but a bit. Still hoping to get a catfish over there. Damn it, I'm snagged. Oh, no. See if this hook will bend out. Oh, something gave. Let's see. Now I'm snagged again. Something gave again. Oh, that time it feels like the whole thing broke. Well, the hook bent out and the weights must have got snagged on something because they're gone. I can remedy this. Let's bend the hook back, get some more weights on there. All right, I've got a few more minutes. I think I got that one. Feels like another small fish. Really small. As it gets colder and colder, it seems like the bigger fish leave and only these fish are left behind. I got one seven inch bluegill today. The rest have been really dinky. Got him. He was stuck in the trees. Got him free though. Yeah. Six inch bluegill. Welcome to the show. Your new name is Bart. Bart the bluegill.
Got him. Another six inch bluegill here. Yeah, here we go, six inch bluegill. Not great, but better than nothing. Hi, I'm Sherry. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Fish on. Feels a little bit better than some of these other fish though. Just a little bit. Yeah, nice. Nice big bluegill here. That would be a keeper. Yeah, biggest bluegill of the day right here. We got about an eight inch bluegill. Nice purple color on this one. Yeah, best looking bluegill so far today. That would be a keeper. Good eating size right here. Fish on. Hey! There's a nice bluegill. Probably one of the nicest fish today. Swallowed it. This guy swallowed it. Let's see. Yeah, I got the forceps in my pocket. We can get this guy off of here. Nice fish. There we go. All right, last fish of the day, and it's a good one. Easy, easy. Last fish of the day here, and it's a good one. Let's see if I can get him to stay still in my hands. It's kind of twitching. Easy. Yeah, nice big bluegill here. Another eight plus incher. Look at how huge this ear is. Another keeper. If I was keeping them, I would have had three keepers today. Let's let them go. All right, we're gonna put this stuff away. Then we're gonna come back and check the catfish rod. The moment we've all been waiting for. I don't think I have a catfish. Still alive. You made it, buddy. Hi, I'm John from Northern Grit, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Well, that's all the time I have for today. And this trip was pretty much a repeat of last time. I came over here to the log with the leftover night crawlers from last time and got a bunch of bluegill with a couple nice ones mixed in. I also tried using a bluegill as bait, but I didn't get any bites. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.